National World War I Museum is recognizing those who have served in the military and especially those who have died serving. Abigail James is live at the World War I Memorial this morning. Abby, there's a lot going on there today. Yeah, Gina, there's so much that will be happening today. There will be displays, food trucks, a special ceremony that will begin at 10 a.m. But I want to go ahead and show you one of the things that people can do out here today. Um, it is People can come here and sign their loved one's name on a poppy tag that will then be placed on the Tree of Remembrance. And I'm joined out here this morning with Camille Kulig. She's the Public Program Specialist with the National World War I Museum. And Camille, go ahead and tell me exactly what is this. So this Memorial Day weekend, we are offering our Tree of Remembrance project, which is a collaborative art opportunity in which all guests are invited to write a name of a loved one who has served on a tag, and then they can see the visual impact of all those who have served. Very neat. So they can just take one of these tags, and then they can sign their name on the back, and then this is where they go ahead and they, and they hang them. Yes. And now, how long will these be displayed for? These will be displayed through the end of today, and we're also looking to offer these for a Veterans Day weekend as well. So if you're not able to make it out uh, over this weekend, we hope you can join us then. Cool. And why do you guys do something like this? We are here at the National World War I Museum and Memorial to actively remember those and interpret the history and the stories of the Great War. And this is one of those ways to do it. And another thing that people can do out here today is they can actually write letters to de deployed active duty military uh, service members, yeah. correct? Yes, correct. Uh, so in partnership with Operation Gratitude, which is a nonprofit based out of California, we are inviting guests to write letters or draw pictures to deployed troops, Very to cool. veterans, um, all those who serve our communities and nation. Um, because just as in World War One, letters function as that yeah. tether for those who serve for home and then give that connection for those at home to those who are serving. So we encourage mm -hmm. all to write a letter because a handwritten note never goes out of style. Yeah, absolutely. And these are these are some of them right here that uh, some kiddos had already yeah, absolutely. So please uh, don't let age be a deterrent. All are welcome to write one. <laughs> Very good. Well, everyone can come out here to the National World War One Museum today from 9 until 5 p.m. Uh, like I said, there will be food trucks and a bunch of displays and different hands-on activities that people can participate in. For now, reporting live, Abigail James, KCTV5 News. Such a great effort. And if you want to pay tribute to those fallen military heroes, but maybe you don't have a ride, Uber is actually offering discounted rides on Memorial Day today. Just type in the code Memorial Day 2019 in the app before you request a ride. It's going to take up to $15 off of your trip, so that's a great deal.